Good morning, SBC. It's great to see you this morning, and I hope that you are ready to get up and at them, because God has an awesome day for you ahead. Now listen, I am doing something very special, and I'm doing it just for you, and that is, I'm wearing my tie. Now, if you know me at all, the idea that I would love to wear a tie is wrong, because I hate ties. As a matter of fact, this is as far as it's going to go. I don't wear ties often. And in suits, I don't wear them much at all. If you come to SBC at all, you know that I give you three reasons to wear a suit. Marion, Varian, and Lord's Supper. I'll wear a suit on all three occasions, but I don't enjoy wearing them. It's just not me. And although I spend a lot of time in this office, this office is not me. The truth is, I, I want to be outside, and on either side of this bookcase is the reminder of my real nature, and that is my walking stick collection. I love walking sticks. I love walking with walking sticks. I love to see blue sky. I love to see woods around me. I love to see the handiwork that God has given us. But you and I sometimes have to put on a tie. Sometimes we have to get into the office and, and just work through the day. Sometimes we have to put on things around us that make us look different than we really are. Now, the reason I share all that with you is because some of you, as you come into this new week, are saying, you know what? My real nature is starting to come out. And that's not something I'm really proud of. Maybe your new nature or your real nature is one that is dishonest or grumpy or, I don't know, you got a snap temper and you just don't seem to control it well. The real nature starts to come out the more pressure that we get under. The tighter you make that tie, the faster it comes off. So listen, how are you going to handle the real nature of who you are? What are you going to do to help you combat the real you? You're going to walk with Jesus. That's what you're going to do. The scripture tells us that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. You don't have to be short-tempered anymore. You don't have to carry grudges anymore. You don't have to be dishonest anymore. You don't have to have a foul mouth anymore. You can give that over to Jesus and you can labor every day to grow that nature in you that he has made for you. He'll change you from the inside out. It's different than just slapping on a tie or boxing yourself into an office. It's changing you from the inside. And that change eventually becomes apparent to everyone you meet. So what's it going to be this today, SBC? Are you going to follow your old nature and your old ways? Are you going to continue to just try and tie up some facade around you? Or are you going to be true to Christ and let him guide you to become the person that he wants you to be. Let's make it a great day. Let's follow him, listen to him, and respond to him. And let him draw out of us the very best that we can be. I look forward to catching up with you again, right here from Second Baptist.